there's a new 4x4 MIMO antenna option from Pepwave, the Puma 401. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a first look at a brand new antenna from Pepwave, the Puma 401. Now the Puma is going to be their new line of um, antennas for mobile installations and this is the first of this new antenna design. Uh, it is actually based on the Ant 107, an older Pepwave antenna design. It looked physically similar, same small little dome, very tiny, but the Puma 401 is different in one really important aspect and that is it is a full sub-6 5G certified antenna that will work from everything down to T-Mobile's LTE Band 71 or um, 600 megahertz 5G all the way up to 6 gigahertz. So this is an antenna designed to be a bit future-proof if you install this onto your vehicle. Now this inside this small little dome there are four cellular antennas, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, designed to hook up to a 4x4 um, MIMO cellular, cellular enabled router um, or to a uh, something like the Max Transit Duo that you'd have two antennas going to one modem and two antennas going to the other for when you've got a 2x2 two two MIMO installation. And then there's also a GPS hookup so you can have vehicle tracking going on and which most Pepwave routers support. Um, so this is an interesting set of specs on this uh, tiny little antenna. The antenna itself comes with a six foot cable. If you want longer you're going to have to suffer the degradation that comes from using an extension. Um, you've got two different mounting options. As you see right here, we've got this pole mounted. Um, comes with a little pole mount kit that lets you uh, um, attach this little L-shaped bracket and mount this onto a pole. And we're using this with a suction cup mount so that we can put it up the side of a vehicle easily. But if you want a more permanent installation, it's actually got a spigot mount. So this plastic spigot and a big screw can let this mount through um, a roof of a vehicle. Um, but it does require a pretty sizable hole onto whatever you're mounting that on if you're using this bigot mount style. Um, so this is a, an interesting antenna. This is one of the very few options that has support for T-Mobile's Band 71, the 600 megahertz spectrum. So we're looking forward to putting this to use, testing this out on T-Mobile and other carriers. We'll be sharing our hands-on testing with our members. We've already started and have some uh, promising first results. This is and just to give you a little bit more context for this uh, new Pepwave Puma 401 compared to some of the other similar-ish antennas, is this category of kind of on-vehicle dome antennas has been popular with MobileMark, and this is a, a pointing 7-in-1, where you've got multiple antennas inside the little dome. So the Pepwave's one difference, it's smaller, it does not have any Wi-Fi antennas in it. Something like this, a uh, uh, pointing 7-in-1 has uh, cellular and Wi-Fi um, all inside of the top components here. And um, you can see the size difference is uh, quite substantial. We've also been comparing it to a uh, mobile mark. Uh, we've got a mobile mark 9-in-1 actually up on the roof of our van right now. And um, they're all different antennas, slightly different trade-offs, but they all meet the basic requirement of giving 4x4 MIMO to uh, any cellular router or device that really has support for four cellular inputs at once. Well, this is definitely seems like a worthwhile antenna to add to your uh, antenna shopping consideration, um, particularly if you're going to be pairing this with a Pepwave cellular router. So members keep following along in our forums for more in-depth ongoing testing notes and uh, thank you for making all of our work possible. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.